Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about the giant mouse knives, the Ace line. This is the Nimbus in the micarta, uh, the green canvas micarta. Uh, this is my first giant mouse knives and uh, I've heard great things about this company. Um, I've heard great things about the two makers that collaborated to make this knife. Um, and I'm so glad that I got uh, this knife. Um, First things first, this is, uh, I believe, a Sprint uh, Runs limited production. Um, and I don't know if they're going to make any more, but man, this is a fantastic iteration of this knife. Um, before I go into the knife, I just want to share a couple specs with you. Uh, this is uh, the blade length is 3 inches of uh, Bowler M390 Micro Clean. It has a, f a full flat grind all the way through. A fantastic fantastic blade design uh, the handle length is 3 and 375 the overall length is seven and a quarter and it weighs in about 4.1 ounces overall I think spec wise this is a fantastic knife it just it feels good the weight is good the length is really good for everyday carry uh, this is riding on ball bearing and this is a liner lock I uh, believe uh, this does not have a hardened steel lock bar insert, but it does state that the liner lock is uh, uh, hardened and bead blasted. Um, as you can see, the internals, it is milled on both sides, so it does feel, has a really good balanced feel in the hand. I believe it balances at, yeah, right there, right behind the pivot. It just feels really good in the hand. Um, so, you know, the, the reason why I got this knife is really because it spoke, uh, it spoke to me, just the way it's designed. Um, I love the design philosophy of Jan's Anzo and uh, Jesper's Voxnes. I love their, their knife design. So um, when they came out with the Nimbus, I just, I just love how, just the way they designed it. I love the, the lines of this knife. It's just very, very pleasant to look at, you know. Um, it just kind of hark harkens back to, I believe, the Puko style knife. Um, and man, this thing feels really good in the hand. You know, I can't say that enough. And that's the first thing I want to say that uh, about this knife that I really like. It's just um, the way that it fills the hand is fantastic. It, it does, they do provide a, a really generous girth around the handle with that micarta. And so it just feels, I have small to medium sized hands, so it fills the hand really well. And then it's just really comfortable. It's, it has all the curves in all the right places. You know, it just, it, it swoops in where you where you need it to swoop in. It, it goes straight where you need it to go straight. So in the hand, there is just absolutely no hot spot that I, I could feel. Even when I was using this for a long period of time, cutting down uh, boxes, it just, it was a pleasure to use. Another thing that I love about this knife is just a blade. You know, this is M390. I've gotten this, uh, about, I believe a little less than a year ago and I haven't had to uh, sharpen it and I've used I used it to cut down boxes to prepare food to cut down all sorts of stuff and it's still very sharp you know it's still a nail catching sharp and they did a really great job pairing this knife with that M390 steel and I am a believer M390 now <laughs> um Another thing I really like about it is just the, the action and the detent. So this is riding on ball bearings and it just really provides an excellent action. I could flick it, you know, I could um, kind of pop it open and then slow roll it open and slow roll it close. And then they really tuned in that detent. So it really just kind of sucks it in and keeps it there. You know, there is really no way this is just accidentally going to pop open. You know, it really takes a deliberative effort to open it up. Okay. I love how the micarta has been wearing in. It's just been, you know, when I first got this knife, it was actually a lighter green color. And then over time, as I've been using it, it's been getting wet. Um, it's really just taken on a darker tone. And now it just looks really nice. Uh, I hope the camera could capture that, but yeah, it's just, it's really nice. You know, everything is done so well on this knife. Uh, another thing I want to say is just the craftsmanship of this knife. Um, I don't know who manufactured uh, this particular model, but whoever did it, did a fantastic job. 
Um, I can't see any flaws uh, design wise. It's just it's perfect, you know. Um, oh, never mind. I'm gonna talk about one thing that is I do kind of have a little bit of issue, but it's so minor. I'm just trying to be trying to find something essentially. But overall, this is just a fantastic knife. It's just it's designed to work and it works really well and it feels really good in the hand. Uh, another thing I want to mention is the, uh, the the spine is crowned, uh, so it's really you know it, there's no sharp corners anywhere on this knife as far as, far as I could tell other than the edge. Um, I love their trademark jimping how they put it in the middle of the blade rather than over here, so it does lend itself when I have to choke up. You know, and my thumb just naturally lands where that jimping is. And that jimping isn't overly aggressive. It's actually very, it's, 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 they have enough of it so you know it's there, but not so much where it's going to tear up your thumb. You know, it feels really pleasant. This knife as a whole, it just feels very pleasant to hold and to use. Now, I do want to talk about uh, maybe one or two things that, you know, could possibly be an issue. And the first thing is that it's hard to just flick this knife with your thumb only because uh, the way the uh, um, the the the, the, just the handle slabs are really tall so it makes it kind of hard to access that that thumb hole so what I have to do is I have to literally kind of pinch it together and then flick it open now I know there's some people that could do it and once in a while I could get it where I could catch it on my thumbnail and flick it open but most of the time I'm going to be doing this method where I'm going to just be pinching it from both sides and then just boom and it, it just opens like a thwack. Yeah man. So that's really the only issue. Well actually one more thing is there is a slight um I guess no never mind. <laughs> no, that's literally the only issue that I could find if I had to like find an issue. Overall, this is a fantastic, fantastic knife. I heard that they uh, may make more of uh, this model with the, the micarta. I don't know if they're going to come out with like a, a different micarta, like maybe a tan, like a brown canvas micarta. They came out with that for the, uh, I believe it's the Iona. Um, and so I won't be surprised if they come out with Nimbus in like another like micarta variation if they do Man, you should you should get it this knife overall Is just a fantastic war course and I believe that's what they really designed this knife to be is you know I believe they the, the name Nimbus comes from a motorcycle that is just indestructible it could just keep going and keep going and that's where this knife um really came from it's a knife that was designed to just keep keep going and it really does i mean i've i've used this you know to cut so many things and it just keeps cutting it just it will not not cut it just keeps cutting and i have not felt any hot spot in the hand it's just one thing i want to say um is that it does look very angular, right? You know, it has a lot of these kind of straight lines, you know, right here. And it is very chunky, but is they did it in such a way where it really just feels really good in the hand. You know, I, I can't say that enough. Like, it, it feels really, really good. So if you're in the market to get a Nimbus or if you could, if you come across one, I really recommend you to, to get one if you can. I know, I think they are going to come out with more variations of this model. And uh, if so, man, go for it. You will not regret it. This is a knife that I've really enjoyed using. And I'm going to probably get some more giant mouse knives because this really won me over. So with that being said, um, I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day.